Bonjour. I woke up like 2.30 in the morning so I could catch my flight, which left from Tampere to Riga and from there to Paris. The flight altogether took around four hours. I was feeling a bit poorly after a flu I had had, but nothing was going to ruin my holiday spirit. This trip was a birthday gift from my family and my little sister had planned the whole trip. Once arriving to Paris, we had few hours before we could check into our hotel. So we took storage locker for our luggage, which was really close to the airport. Our first stop was breakfast because both of us had woken up super early. And of course, when you're on holiday, it's always a mimosa clock. With our bellies full, we headed to Louvre. Unfortunately, it's closed on Tuesdays, so we couldn't see the Mona Lisa, but we went to see the famous glass pyramids and took some cool photos there. From there we walked along River Seine and headed for some drinks before taking an Uber to our hotel. It was only a short drive and the hotel itself was super cute and stylish. Perfect for our sister's getaway. There's the River Seine. And there on the back you can see Eiffel Tower. <laughs> a small one. I think we're gonna get some wine now. My sister lives in England, so we only see each other once in a while. But this was super special because we couldn't even remember when was the last time we spent this much time together, just the two of us. Precious moments. Yes, yes thank you. We are at the hotel Very now. Well. Yes, at the hotel. Day two in Paris. Today we're gonna go see Eiffel Tower and then we just go from there and see what we find. The second day we were on a mission to go and see Eiffel Tower. We took a metro to get there and that was my first time using one of those. Again, I just followed my sister and trusted that she gets us where we needed to be. And yes, we made it there. Yeah, there we go, buy, buy the tickets. The tower itself was huge and way more bigger than I've ever imagined. Again we took some nice pics and afterwards walked to a park for some well-deserved picnic with a really nice view. There's the Eiffel Tower. We walked around a lot and at times stopped for a nice glass of wine or an aperol spritz. Just to do some girl talk and enjoying this time together. We have the perfect picnic place. <laughs> My sister had booked spots for us from a cat coffee shop and there we spent some time with the cutest cat and paid 18 euros for two coffees. We were really happy to pay that because both of us just love cats and so this was the perfect place for us to visit. After the cat coffee shop we went back to the hotel and quickly changed some clothes and then headed to one of the speakeasies we had seen on TikTok. It was super easy to find and the entrance there was something that we had never experienced before. The bar itself was super small yet it was cozy and had a chill atmosphere. Drinks there were also something different than what we have ever tasted. We really recommend this if you want to experience something different. After the speakeasy we still hopped on Uber and went to see Eiffel Tower in the night time. The tower looked amazing with all the lights and was well worth the extra trip. This trip to Paris with my sister was just amazing. I love the fact that she had planned everything beforehand and that she knows me so well we didn't have to run from place to place. We could just enjoy the city, food, wine and each other's company. There is still so much left to see, so Mika promised to make another trip to Paris with me. Until next time, Paris!